I really hated melee at Egg Tide and Riptide. At Egg Dog and Riptide. And then I took a break. And the only thing that was affirmed to me was how much I hated melee and being a part of the scene. I'll be completely real. Um, like, the more and more I took a break, the more I was like, I don't ever want to go back. So I do think part of that is burnout. I really do. I'm, I'm very positive a lot of that is burnout. But I think there is a lot of how I interacted with Melee that made it really hard for me to enjoy myself. And if you saw my last few streams before, you know, my break, they, they were not good vibes at all. They were pretty horrific vibes. I was not having a good time. You guys weren't having a good time. I wasn't inspired. I hated my gameplay. I still hate my gameplay. Nothing about it felt really good. And it, it was really, really miserable. So I took some time off. I started working out. I started very intensive therapy. And I mean like very intensive therapy. I have EMDR twice a week and a therapist that specializes in all of my diagnosis. So I'm going through a lot of that. And I'm not going to lie. They made me realize how unhealthy this is for me. It wasn't me just feeling burnt out. There was a pretty clear disconnect of like, yeah, this is not good for you. You need to take a break and you need to take a step back. So I started by deleting all of social media pretty much without any consideration for, you know, my work. And I realized that I don't want to be a, in a scene or around people. So this is going to be real for a second. My entire life was shit upbringing, shit parents that didn't want me shit families that didn't want me, people that didn't want me. And then I came to Melee and it felt like it was that all over again. From day one, I felt like every scene I went to had problems with me. They didn't like me. They didn't want me around. And I'm sure part of that's in my head, but it felt very genuine. Like nobody really wanted me around. And it feels like the issues that I have where other people would get, how should I say, you would give someone slack. Like if someone's autistic, you're like, okay, you know, they're autistic. Sometimes they say things that are frustrating or stupid and you get it. And it feels like those kind of luxuries were never afforded to me because maybe I speak a little differently than your, and this is not the example, but it is an example and of how I felt. So it always felt like I was unfairly targeted for a lot of things, but fairly targeted for some things, mind you, some things I'm very fairly targeted for, but it felt like I was extremely unfairly targeted for a lot of stuff. And it made me just really unhappy being a part of the scene, playing, being a person, going on a mic. It just felt like I was a dancing monkey in a zoo and not a person. And that is just really a shitty feeling. Yeah, it's it's frustrating that I worked so hard to fix my speech and fix the way I speak to try to be more normal presenting. And then somehow I get punished for that. So they're just like, oh, he's just an asshole. He's abrasive. And I'm like, no, I just don't get it. It's like, I literally just don't get it at all. And not getting any kind of slack there made it feel like I don't want to be a part of a scene that's going to constantly pick on my my speech has never been bad it was when i was younger it was really bad when i was younger my speech when i was young was i didn't even talk until i was three i worked really hard on my speech when i was younger because i didn't know i was autistic so i tried to just speak normally as much as i could but no it was really i had to go to speech therapy when i was younger it was it was really poor so and i get that everyone deals with this in some way but what i want from life i don't want to be chastised i don't want to be criticized in public all the time. I don't want all my flaws to be pointed out. I don't want all my insecurities to be pointed out by someone all the time and just attacked for it. So I'm taking a massive step back from Melee scene uh, for the time being. I'm still going to go to the events I promised this year. I'm probably going to take more of a plup approach to next year where I'm still going to go to the big stuff, but I'm going to try pretty hard to stay out of the spotlight as much while I work on myself. And I am working on myself a lot. So... I started working out again. I started swimming a few times a week. I started lifting again. I started, I pretty much overhauled my eating entirely. I'm like counting calories, doing all of that stuff, making sure that my body is like in the healthiest state that it can be. And I am much happier now. I have so much more energy. My life feels better. My relationships feel better. My, I think you could probably even tell any unranked challenge. So like, I just don't get as frustrated anymore. And that's a good thing. But I'm also taking less of a, let's put it this way. I do not care about rank anymore. I do not care about getting ranked one. I do not care about, you know, being ranked above or below Zane anymore. And I don't care enough to be the person that is always there just as like a secondary. It feels like I was always second to everyone else where it was like, oh, you know, Cody is the guy that dethroned Zane, but it was never Cody is the guy who did this. It was always, I did, I dethroned Zane. 
or I I was the one who like uh, made Fox Mart doable. But for me, it always felt like something was diminished or it, it wasn't taken seriously. And again, I know everyone goes through this, but I don't think I'm strong enough mentally to deal with it. At least not right now. Uh, what does it mean for streaming? I mean, I like my stream. I like being with you guys. Hey, you for 10 months. I also can't <laughs> afford both because I still have my nouns contract. I'm not quitting, but I need to stop caring at all about ranking and public perception. Like I'll do ranking lists for fun because I think it's people enjoy the content and I do think it's enjoyable doing numbers, but I have to detach any of my self-worth from it whatsoever. I need to just completely overhaul how I'm approaching what by I need to completely overall how I'm approaching this game and what my life is going to look like with it. So I'm definitely taking a bit of a step back. I'm not going to be doing the 14, 15, 16, 18 events a year. I'm not doing the back to back to backs anymore. It's too, it's too much for me. I can't do it. I want to spend more time at home. I want to spend more time, you know, dogs, Emily. And I just want to surround myself by people who want to be around me. I don't want to surround myself with people that are going to be toxic shit on me and not enjoy my presence. And if you don't, that's fine, but I just don't want to be around you. So I don't want to really be as much in the spotlight as I have been or as big with traveling as I have been. I'd rather take a bit of a step back. And if I am going to do stuff involving Melee, I'd rather be more back end, like tutorial type videos where it's just helping, maybe running events in the background, helping put on events, uh, even commentary, dude, like, I, I just don't even want to do commentary. I just don't want to put myself out there anymore. I've done it enough. I mean, I'm still going to go to events. I'll probably go to like eight, nine, ten events in a year for sure. But I'm, I'm trying to do one a month. It's not like I'm going away. It's not like I'm quitting or retiring. I'm just taking a step back and I'm more letting you guys know that I'm not going to be interacting with the scene as much as I have been. We go back to college. I finished college. I, I graduated college already. I want to work myself. I have these fucking things for two years. And so this to me is a marker. Uh, the second I got them, I went to the gym, I started working out again. I have two years. This and surgery will be done in two years. And in those two years, I need to be in the best physical shape of my life, which is going to be hard because I used to be in great shape and the best mental shape of my life. And if I can do that, then I will consider these two years a success. I don't need a different form of income from Melee. I just need to take an approach with Melee that's more back-end community or just like detaching my person from my play entirely. So like my Twitter is not going to be me interacting with people as much anymore. I, I just don't want to do it, but I will be sharing stuff occasionally. I'll tweet something, but it's going to be very infrequent. It's, I, it's off my phone completely. Um, I don't necessarily need it, but I am going to branch into other games next year. 1000%. Like I'm going to start splitting my time. So I want to pick up rivals. and I definitely want to try. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to call it 2XKO, but 2XKO. So yeah, it's nothing super crazy. The Kona shame. Yeah, they got, they got fixed. So, yeah, um, lots of therapy, lots of working out, less of a hands-on approach with the scene and definitely more of a hands-off approach with the scene. So, yeah, it's nothing super crazy. I'm assuming most people kind of figured that out, but the, the crux of it is I never realized how depressed Melee was making me. And this is a good thing. Let me, let me make sure this is obvious to all of you. This is a good thing for me. Maybe it's a bad thing for the scene. Maybe it's a bad thing for some of you. But for me, it is a good thing objectively. Because uh, my life is good enough outside of Melee that I realized, you know, how unhappy I really was in the scene. And I was really fucking unhappy. Maybe, you know, in two years I work on myself and I feel great and I'm down to fucking clown after all that shit's done and said and good. But as of right now, I'm going to say I need to take a little step back.